you've, uh, you've heard applause like that in, what, 46 countries, maybe? Are, are there differences when you travel the world in how people react? No, basically they laugh and cry at the same time, hair stand up, <laughs> hit the umbilical cord, and it's one family. Yeah, yeah. Could there be a Woodstock today? Yeah, if Nelson Mandela would uh, keep his promise and come back and keep his promise to the American Indians. Oh, he made a promise to you? Yeah, in Oakland, California. When, before he left, he said he promised to come back and help our brothers, the Native, Native Americans, with their plight. So I think that if you know, we get together with Harry Belafonte and Nelson Mandela, Mr. Nelson Mandela, and Coretta King, I think that all the musicians would just fall, and people like yourself would just fall into place. Yeah, are you heavily involved in the plight of the American Indian? Well, as you know, uh, this president who, actually Ronald Reagan, apparently invested, a, put a lot of money, something like $2 billion or something like that, into celebrating Christopher Columbus. <laughs> not only, you know, that's right. So none of this money is going to the American Indians, you know, which really this is their land. So we don't see any purpose in celebrating another Hitler, which is really what, who he is. Because the first thing he asked when he came to this land is, where's the gold? It wasn't like, let's work together. It was, where's the gold? Yeah. And if you, don't, if you don't bring it to me, we'll start chopping your fingers. So yeah. why should we celebrate Christopher Columbus? Yeah. 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 Go on. Over the years, you've worked with a lot of great ones. You've got Larry Graham and, and, and Justin, all these guys here today, and you've worked with, with Hendrix. Are there any musicians Hendrix caliber around today? Sure, there's a young blood, uh, young brother from Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. His name is Eric Gales, mm -hmm. 16 years old, still in high school, and he's absolutely incredible. There's nothing cute about this 16-year-old mm -hmm. young brother, you know. Uh, he's got The Lord Took Jimmy and also Stevie Ray mm -hmm. for life or whatever, but he, there's, we also have another brother who carries on that legacy of with one note, a lot of guitar players fall out, you know, because they, the way they hit one note, it penetrates, you know. So, yeah, Eric Gales is, is, has a bright future. Yeah, he was here. He took the place apart. Right? Yeah, I bet. He's bad. Let's take a quick commercial. We'll be right back.